And so here's the part two. I did finish the exhaust. Just got, of course, like the eBay 421 headers. I only have one oh two sensor on this car. I have no problem with that. But now it fits. I do have an exhaust leak. I am using a test pipe. But you can kind of see. That gets loose because I'm not using uh, spring bolts, but you can see test pipe and the down pipe right there. But it gets loose. So that's the only issue I'm having with it. But other than that, I mean, it fits fine. But I haven't uploaded the part two because I have done quite a bit more to the hatch since then. Oh, and also uh, with this header, I did have to kind of trim the radiator fan here. Yeah, you kind of see right there. Had to trim that in order just to just to fit that. So other than that, I mean, there's no problem. I wish I'd clean up the bay a lot more, but I mean, it needs cleaning. Like cleaning, sanding, like it needs a whole repaint. You could kind of see. It's really hard to get all this grime off of the back and stuff. One of these days when I could do a swap, I'll get to that. I try cleaning up the best I can. But uh, um, anyway, I actually attempted to paint the, the car, so I actually drove it three hours down to a friend's house um, with the help of my dad. I kind of did a kind of a poor job because the car still needs quite a bit of work anyway. I still need to, you know, replace the hood. The bumper needs replacing, in my opinion. I'm gonna replace it anyway. So it's not a perfect paint job by any means, but uh, I'm definitely happy with it. It's all one color. I also, I was able to replace the tailgate here and the rear bumper. Got a new rear bumper for it. The guy who sold me the bumper hooked me up with the, the tailgate. So I was lucky enough to, to find that. I am missing the badges though, so I'm gonna have to look for those. But it's all one color now, so. It's straight, also painted the, the stock VX wheels. For now, um, one of these days I'll get them powder coated and store them. Mirrors, of course, I think I've went through that. Uh, replaced the corners with these because I want some clears, but I think I went through that too. I think I've discussed that. Uh, let me put down the hood and show it here. Okay, so this is with the hood down. The hood does have, I didn't really care to do the body work, so I'm gonna replace the hood anyway. I mean, this part's all messed up still. It kind of looks like it has a hood spacer on one side, but it's much, much cleaner in my opinion. Better than what it was. Uh, there's kind of a gap there. Okay, there we go. Now it's shut. So, I mean, it's not too bad. It is what it is. Um, I'm probably gonna do like a single stage paint job when I replace the hood bumper and all that stuff and get it where I want it. This bumper is even, try to do my shot at my own body work here. So, it's, I mean, it's not the best, but that dent is gone for the most part. I'm gonna probably have my dad finish it up because he does body work and of course paint. So I'll have him do my my paint work much better than I could. I mean, I wanted to attempt it because it needs paneled anyway. But overall, I mean, it looks clean. I also picked up a set of sixth gen uh, side skirts here that I'm gonna throw on because I heard they're, they fit with a little bit of trimming. I'm gonna do the trim the back so I don't want rocks to get in there. Uh, I think the first two clips I think go in 
and then after that, I think you gotta use like double sided tape or something. Uh, I don't know, figure it out. I also still have the mud flaps for this, the original mud, mud flaps. So I'm debating if I wanna throw those on or not. I did paint the side skirt, because I've seen some come painted. I don't, know, I don't know if they come painted, but people actually paint match them, so I just left them. And mine, of course, don't have the moldings, being a VX and all. No sweater, of course. Interior, I still need to kind of clean up a lot better. I did finally get the shift boot and glove fixed. I do need to fix that corner of the carpet there. Um, I just replaced it with a fat aftermarket stereo. I do have the original still that I'm going to keep just in case, you know. Maybe I'll find another Honda that would be pretty cool to throw in or if I could ever find that the rare, you know, center console that goes right here with the double din, I mean, I'll do something with that. But I mean, for the most part, the interior is still pretty clean, which I, I love. I do want to replace these seats. I want to get, I would like some red Recaros or something. I think that would be pretty nice, but uh, Definitely not in my budget, so I'll probably get like something like along the lines of, you know, NRG seats or something, which would be pretty cool. I do have the blue interior, so I don't know if I want to find some like aftermarket blue seats or just keep it black. So I mean, it does have black accents, of course. But um, for the most part, it's not bad. I'm pretty happy with where it's at right now. This was kind of a pain to swap the tailgate. I had to swap the, pretty much everything off my old one. My plastics are all scratched up inside. It's complete, completely scratched though. I was debating if I wanted to actually just get rid of the, you know, back part. Cause eventually I kind of wanted to make this into like kind of a, you know, like an autocross car or something. I want to put some bracing back here. But, I mean, I don't really have, I do want to save this interior. Even though it's kind of, it's really far off quality wise. I mean, I still like to keep it just because, I mean, it's sound dining, I'm cruising in and stuff like that. I mean, I'm going to be tending this car anyway, so. Especially with this, I'm going to be replacing this with something much quieter. But uh, um, I'll pull it out, uh, take it somewhere real quick to do a quick walk around on it. So it's uh, it's a lot better so I can actually be seen, but I'll do a quick exhaust sound cause I kind of live in between like apartments and stuff, as you can see. And I just don't want to get in trouble. So I'll put in a quick clip of the finished exhaust it sounds like it has a small leak, even though it doesn't look like it has a leak, but I don't know. Uh, so you ain't gonna hear it over the big four can, so I'll put that clip in real quick before I go do a walk around on it. Or maybe I'll put a walk around on a different video. I, video, I don't know. But I'm just happy, you know, the body's straight. I mean, later on, of course, I'm gonna do a better paint job. Later down the road, maybe next summer, I just need some time, time to get everything, everything together. I can't talk right now. I still want to get a lip, get a, do the antenna delete. Probably just the cap though, not like anything body wise. Uh, spoon style, I still want all the spoon style wing. New tail lights I still need. I want to get clears. Hopefully I can get those soon. And probably new housings. I still want the clear ones like I had on my white, other white EJ1 on my coupe. Hopefully, I could come across those one of these days. Yeah, I don't know why, but I just noticed my headlights kind of sunk in. Oh, this headlight's trash anyway. I need a new set. It is what it is. But I'm definitely happy with where it's at right now. Um, 
So that'll basically just be part two. I'll do a quick rock run and exhaust. So yeah, basically, so basically like any other fart can, basically, uh, any other Civic, and this one being like one of the slowest and smallest engines of 1.5. So, I mean, a VTEC E, one of like the early, early VTEC engines, not much of a performance car. So, but I mean, I want it, I like fart cans. They don't bug me much. Kind of annoying when driving long distances like I did last week but uh, I'm gonna back it out real quick and do a quick walk run on it It gets warm that it's kind of weird. I'll do a quick walk around. It's getting dark, so. This is what it looks like. A lot better than it was, I think. The de dent is somewhat gone. I have a full back end again. No end exhaust. Painted the stock wheels like a weirdo. Got corners, but not headlights yet. Uh, this is the way it sits right now. Um, currently, this is where I I literally had this car posted up a long time ago already. I do a lot of posting on that uh, before I could do anything on YouTube. Not video wise, but I, let, I like to do pictures and stuff, so. Yeah, that's when, you know, this is faded. Well, it looks clean for to me. I don't know, I like it. One of these days, uh, it'll get like a more professional paint job. But for now, it is what it is. Alright, till next time.